Mike Giuliano, the winner of the second Muscle Meds Train with Kai Green contest, digs deep in order to keep up with the two-time Arnold Classic champion and Mr. Olympia contender. In this video, Kai takes the former MMA fighter and Ironman triathlete through an intense shoulder and upper back training session. He tweaks his form and emphasizes once again the all-important mind-muscle connection. We meet at the famous hardcore gym Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn to film our video. Kai wastes no time getting right into the warm-up, a superset of pull-ups and dips. Now what I'm trying to do is like pull over as I come up and flex my lats. In good form. 11, good form. The dip bar is in the back, so we got to make that trek, you know? While I scramble to keep up with them, I can't help but feel the history in this place. Not only is this the gym where Kai began his bodybuilding training when he was a teen, but it is also where I met him and his then trainer, Oscar Arden, for the first time to begin what was to become one of the most important documentaries of my career Kai Green Overkill. That, too, was a shoulder training session. Although Mike is not a competitive bodybuilder and does not desire to be one, he greatly admires Kai's physique and work ethic and has his own reasons for being here. The training knowledge he gains today is for a very specific purpose. Try to be mindful of your scapula. Nice. Yeah, when you come up, it opens. Okay. Yep. And when you come, when you when you're actually pulling your body up, you're contracting them together. Movement of your scapula is what speaks of activation of your lats. The less movement you have going on there, the more your arms are working when you do your pull-up. Though an avid user of Muscle Med's products, Mike is not here to win trophies. A New Jersey native and devoted husband and father who discovered weight training in his teens, Mike Giuliano's reason for training with Kai is the bad guys. He has been a Saddlebrook, New Jersey police officer for 11 years and is mindful of the physical demands that such a job entails. No donut eating jokes for him. Mike needs to stay one step ahead of the dangers he encounters on a daily basis. There's always that, that bigger person. You gotta be prepared in case, you know, stuff goes bad. Can you handle your own? Can you handle yourself against someone bigger than you? You know, and that's where my training that I've been doing, you know, focuses on. There's never any cues as to it's going bad. You know, it's, it's, it's quick. The three seconds or the one second they decide, you know what, I'm going to try doing this and to get away, you got half a second to react. You know, and it's, it's, it's just what it is, it's the nature of the job. Six. You always have to expect the worst and then come out, you know, if nothing happens, then great. But you got to be prepared. You know, that's where, you know, the working out, the strength training, nutrition, you know, everything matters. Even though his goals are a bit different, Kai's philosophical approach to training appeals to Mike. And as usual, Kai doesn't disappoint in that department. The road to making the muscles that you want responsible for any movement that you do is by putting your mind there. You decide in your mind what you want to do. I am going to work my chest. I am doing these dips for the purposes of stimulating this kind of activity and therefore growth to occur in this area of my body. It's important to be clear about that because now that allows you to consciously and unconsciously set things up internally that will allow you to begin to make those muscles work more than any other muscle group that can work when doing an exercise. Stop. Good job. Excellent. 
the warm-up complete, Kai now gets into the meat of the training. In thinking about this machine, you're thinking about training our traps, our rear delts, our rhomboids. We've already done some things to activate our back. My shoulder training starts the same way as my back training would start. Shoulders are the top of your back. So the rear of your shoulder is technically your upper back. So my shoulder training session and my back training session in the very beginning, the warm-ups and everything, kind of mimic each other a little bit. Let's get it. Now we're going back and forth between these two machines. Next time I won't be talking, so we'll keep it going. Let's get it. This is your rear delt. Rear delt. And your traps from the top, the middle, to the bottom. Two, three, four. Try to pull those elbows a little higher. Five. Squeeze here. Six. Yes. Seven. Squeeze here. Eight. Here. Nine, here, 10, feel like that's like rocks, that's like rocks, that's like rocks under your shirt. 12, 13, 14, squeeze them, 15, squeeze them, 16, squeeze them harder, squeeze my fingers, 17, 18, let's go, 19, let's go, 20, good shit. Always under control, always under control, always under control, traps, traps, traps. Flex here, five, flex this, six, let's go, let's go, seven, 13, squeeze this, 14, come on, 15, 16, come on, come on. Push. Let's go. Eight, squeeze this, let's go, let's go. Nine, squeeze this, let's go, let's go. Ten, squeeze this, let's go, squeeze it, squeeze it. All right, drop it. Squeeze, stretch at the bottom. Too heavy, drop it. Concentrate on flexing your muscles. Stretch and flex, stretch and flex. That's how you stimulate activity. That's how you prime the surface, make them prepared to grow. That's how they become ready to use those nutrients. Let's go. Four, five, six, come on, seven. Come on, Iron Man, let's go, eight. Come on. Nine, let's go. 10, let's go. 11, let's go. 12. The thing to conquer isn't just conquering 20 reps or moving this iron. The thing to think about is training your traps, making your mind connect with them, being in absolute control of them and their contraction and their stretch from rep one to rep 21. If you don't make it to rep 21, that's okay. That's okay, because then what you've done is you've reached failure, and you've reached real failure. Real failure is how muscles grow. Once you have absolute control over your muscles, then you can start to swing and use things as tools to help you. But this is self-mastery first. This is what's gotta be mastered first. One, two, three, 
is too heavy. Let's go. See how weight doesn't mean anything? Yes. Yes. Yes, squeeze them, flex this. Yeah. Yeah, in here, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Can you dig deeper? Can you flex them all? There you go.